Hey, it's my day off. See, my signature blue shirt's missing. Anyway, I, wanted, I, I said, it's my day off, but what can I do? I'm going to make a video on, on why your dryer, or, or your client's dryer, it keeps blowing thermal fuses. Maybe it's a low-end thermal fuse, maybe it's a high-end thermal fuse. But it keeps blowing these fuses, and you're looking like an idiot. What's going on? You stay tuned, we'll cover that situation. Okay, so there's two things that makes your thermal fuses blow. One of them is a lack of airflow. That's easy to check. You go behind your dryer and, and, and disconnect the, the, uh, the vent line. And you can hold your hand down there and you can see if there's good enough airflow. If you're just a perfectionist, you go out and buy, and buy one of those uh, a wind velocity machines you put down there. I don't know what the wind velocity on a dryer would be, but I wouldn't do that. I just use my hand. So. Anyway, that it was airflow, and the other thing is the element's not cutting off at the at the correct time. So there's one component in in most whirlpool dryers, and that's what we're going to use for this example, and it's called a um, a cycling thermostat. And this is an example of that uh, uh, a picture of that right here. Uh, you can see this one. It's rated for 155 degrees for the limit. So that means it's going to it's going to open at 155 degrees, and this uh, component is on your blower side. So as the air is exiting the uh, dryer drum, it, it goes through the blower and across this uh, device, and uh, it it regulates the temperature on on your the dryer side. When this opens, it turns the element off, so cool air goes into the drum until it cools down to, to you can see it says a 25 degree. Um, range here when it cools 25 degrees uh, from the 155 degree limit it will click back on and your element will come on again so if this component is, uh, is not functioning correctly it has the potential of blowing thermal fuses either the one on the blower side or the one on the uh, element side uh, here are some examples of, of uh, thermal fuses that you may find in, in different dryers the first is, uh, of course, a, a standard long Whirlpool style and, and the other button kind that uh, you can find in some Samsung, Kenmore, some higher end machines. And there's, uh, this is an example of, of a thermal fuse that you may find on a, a G style or a hot point style machine. Okay, in these pictures you can see where, it, uh, where it's located. So this uh, socket thermostat on a Whirlpool style machine is usually located on the blower right next to the, that, that long thermal fuse. So uh, you can see it here, it's uh, the cycling thermostat has been been taken off the blower and, uh, and there's a picture of that. Now, now the high end cutoff thermal fuses uh, look similar to, to these right here. Here's uh, one uh, that you'll find in, in some machines and they, it sits up on some standoffs away from the 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 element and I guess they would blow at a at a lower temperature than than the flat style like this one, uh, which is usually rated at a 309 degrees. So uh, here's one here's one installed uh, with, with the wire on it, and you can see 309 degrees Fahrenheit as it's 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 blow uh, rate. Now this is a one-time device; it, it blows and it's gone. You need to replace it. So to uh, get to these devices, we have to go through the back side of the machine here. Here you see in my shop, I have it up on my, uh, on my roller around dolly that uh, keeps me from breaking my back when I'm working on these things. And you open it, open it up and you, you can find this uh, cycling thermostat somewhere on your blower. And this is what it'll look like. I have uh, three of the wires, to, uh, well all four of them are disconnected and the red one's just kind of hanging loose there. So before we before we just change it randomly, we we should test it. And what we would do, and here's here's a, a a little video of me testing. I've got it sped up quite a bit. You can see on my thermometer, it's sitting there on the exhaust port of the, of the dryer, uh, and uh, I've got it marked in, in blue uh, the range where it should where it should uh, open. So. Uh, it's kind of, this is kind of dirty, but you can see on this video that 
that this uh, socket and thermostat passes its range and it passes it quite a bit. It goes up well, maybe to 172 degrees before it ever kicks off and that's not acceptable. The range you're looking for, if, it's, if, it, if your uh, thermal fuse is it's rated for 155 degrees, it should cut off plus, plus or minus 5 to 70 degrees. I'd bet, yeah, I'd bet it goes as much as 162 degrees before I change it. Uh, so if it, when it reaches, uh, when it goes above this, you have the potential of, of blowing uh, the high end uh, thermal fuse uh, quite, a, you know, regularly, or it even may blow the low end thermal fuse for quite a bit. So, so in this case, I changed the uh, socket thermostat and I reapplied the, the thermometer. Of course, I cleaned it up a little bit so you could see a little better. And uh, you, can, you can see now that uh, when it reaches its upper limit, it, it, it uh, clicks off within plus or minus five degrees of, of its rating. And what you should do is watch this for about four cycles to make sure it cycles up, cuts off, cycles down about 25 degrees, cuts back on, cycles back up. You wanna make sure that it's functioning correctly. If you have done all this, uh, you've pretty much fixed the machine and you won't have any more problems with it. Now, uh, that being said, there are other dryers that have been uh, uh, paired up with front load washing machines that are kind of higher end, and they have replaced the uh, cycling thermostat with electronics, and it's on a control board. So these control boards are pretty expensive. So if you go to a customer's house and they have this type of machine, and you replace a uh, thermal fuse that has been blown, and uh, that, that would be the, the first scenario. But you need to explain to them, if it blows it again, it's probably gonna be their control board. So replace that, and if you don't hear back from them, that's good. But if you do, uh, chances are you're gonna to have to replace that uh, control board because they have, what the companies have done is they've replaced the, the mechanical part of the uh, cycling thermostat with electronics and the electronics part of, of the machine has failed and you'll have to replace that control board. So anyway I hope you enjoyed this video. You know how YouTube works. If you like and, and subscribe they'll uh, uh, make this video available to more people who, who need this information and I'd appreciate it if you do that. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one.